everyone today I'm back with another video and keeping it female themed from my last few videos I'm going to talk about five podcasts that I listen to on the daily I listen to more than five honestly I listen to a lot but I just narrowed it down to five because they are my favorite and I listen to the most and they are all similar but different and it's like it's funny because I can't remember how I found them, you know? Um, I've been listening to some for a few years and, you know, my nine to five day job, I do commute. I commute 35 to 40 minutes there and back for, you know, 30 minutes there, 30 minutes back, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, that's a lot of time in my car. That's over an hour depending on, you know, like traffic and, you know if I'm doing other stops and all that and I do like to listen to music however I get bored with music and just I'm always like scrolling like trying to find being picking and trying to find the right song and I just love listening to podcasts because it's just like why not get some you know knowledge advice clarity while I'm driving since I spend so much time in the car you know I could just turn it on and just listen to it um, because you know when I'm at home I'm doing other things I don't really like sit down and listen to them honestly and so I do kind of like a commute in a way because it's like my time to like you know do that you know there is a day or hopefully one day where I don't commute anymore um, I will still listen to podcasts well actually I'm lying I don't always I don't just listen to them while I'm driving I did listen to one on my walk this morning um, you know, I take a walk um, when I can, you know, in my neighborhood as my exercise and I do listen to podcasts. So I do listen to them sometimes when I'm working out again. Um, but again, I do like to, you know, listen and enjoy them because I'm always learning and, you know, improving myself and there's just so much knowledge and not just like straight up knowledge, you know, from you know a book or like facts but just you know learning from you know ladies and men you know just everyone's experiences can you know give you knowledge of something that you always wanted to know or or going through and that can help so I just you know I just love it um, again I just want to share my uh, top five podcasts that I listen to and again they are all you know, female and again I do listen to more that are male but for this video I just wanted to share my top five and they just happen to be female so let me get started so if I'm looking down I'm looking at my notebook with notes because um, again all these women are different similar and uh, they all speak on different things and I just want to be organized so again if I look down it's because I want to say the right thing and you know describe them and and you know somewhere on the screen so you can see who I'm talking about because we all love visuals so yeah because she is an author and um, that's how I how I found her and started listening to her is because I read her books first and then um, she came out with a podcast and that is Miss Kara Elwell and again I will post you know pictures of her Instagram and books that I have and I read and I just love her podcast because it's just an extension of her her books her um, her businesses as far as um, she has like a monthly coaching program and she has this really cute online boutique and it's called style your mind podcast how how cute is that name? I just, I'm so jealous that um, I would love to have that name as my podcast. Like, think about it. You're styling your mind. It's, yeah, it's really good. And, um, yeah, she's, like, styling your mind in her podcast with, um, you know, topics she covers of, you know, just how to be women first and boss second. Just living your best life. And again, I'm going to reference my notes, so that's why I'm looking down. And she's an author, life slash business coach, um, and owns an online boutique, The Champagne Diet. And again, how cute is that name? The Champagne Diet. Uh, that's her blog too. And again, it's just an extension of just her online. Um, include topics of 
everyone's channel or podcast that I mention because in case that you're interested in listening to what they cover and talk about. So Kara, she does a lot of interviews with fellow female business owners. I have yet to listen to her interview male, which is fine, but that's her whole brand is, you know, empowering women. So she does interviews with um, fellow female entrepreneurs, um, but just, and not all of them are entrepreneurs. Some are authors, just in business. Not all of them are entrepreneurs, but most of them are. And um, when she, and then she does have episodes where she's solo, where it's just her talking to us <laughs> as ladies, you know, just one-on-one, woman to woman, um, just like how she does in her books. And she covers topics as reinventing oneself, manifesting, and just being a boss, just being a boss babe. And so those are the types of topics that she covers and talks about. So again, I really like listening to her. And again, she was one of the first um, podcasts I started lo- listening to in this genre um, because I started reading her books and just followed her. And, you know, she said she had a podcast and I've been listening ever since. And I look forward to and get excited when she uploads a new episode because I just take in everything she says. So again, Style Your Mind Podcast next podcast I am mentioning is called Blissfully Ambitious by Ashlina Caposta and I think I discovered Ashlina from Kara from Style Your Mind because either she was interviewed or she was interviewed or she was interviewed in her podcast or interviewed in her book because her blog is the Decorista and um, her blog is in Instagram is so pretty um, she's more on the spirit spiritual side um, with her blog and her podcast and her topic Lena is an entrepreneur she's a blogger and she has so and she also has a monthly membership so she goes into using feng shui and crystals uh, to help in business and as a woman and she's all about teaching like the feminine and masculine energy how to use it to improve as you know to uh, feng shui in crystals in business and to help oneself and um, she also writes ebooks so I guess you can so she's an author as well um, cuz I think she has a journal out as well um, like a physical journal and then uh, she has ebook ebooks on how to use feng shui and crystal her topics as far as podcasts is all about being high vibe high vibe woman goddess um how to use crystal and the importance of feng shui and it's really interesting because you don't really hear many people talk about feng shui you know a lot of us are working from home especially entrepreneurs and it's really interesting and important to you know rearrange your space to get like that good flow of energy you know just for oneself and for your business so i like how she goes into that and might consider getting her ebook on um, feng shui because it 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 works i'm sure so again ashlina i'm sure i found from kara and i just started recently listening to her podcast probably within the last year um last year 2020 and she goes into how you know you know working on herself using like the feng shui the crystals and really all about being high vibe has really helped her in her business um she goes into you know she has an online boutique with um she sells her crystal jewelry i just you know love her aesthetic and her voice is really like soothing (laughs) um you know she talks about this goddess and feminine energy and crystals and feng shui like she has a nice voice and just you know very soothing uh so again blissfully ambitious so continuing the theme with uh spiritual ladies um this next woman that i'm going to mention and her name is Isabel Palacios and her podcast is called Taking Back Your Power. 
And what intrigues me about her is that she is so young. Um, she's, I don't know. I started listening to her when she was like 24, 25. She might, I think she's like 26. I don't know. She's, she's young. I'm 34. And, you know, this young lady is, you know, she does have an old soul. She, she says that she has an old soul, old soul. Can't talk. And it's true. She's she's very wise and knowledgeable and just has this like, you know, beautiful energy. She's very pretty inside and out. And again, her podcast is called Taking Back Your Power. And she and a little bit about her is that I found her through YouTube. Um, her first videos, well, her very, very first videos when she was a lot younger were beauty. But I found her when she started doing videos again because she like started off with beauty and then stopped and then started doing um law of attraction videos when it first started like getting popular so like a few years ago and that's how i found her and that's how um so that's how i initially found her through youtube and then you know followed her on instagram and then she started her podcast taking back your power and again it's just an extension of her youtube but she covers topics that she doesn't always do in her YouTube videos because she does interviews with, um, you know, people that are similar to her, male and female, not just female. Um, again, so she is a YouTuber and she's an entrepreneur and then she recently came out with a course called the Goddess Reset Program, just all about, you know, bringing out your inner goddess I guess I don't know too much about her course but I know she just came out with it and I'm sure it's amazing and just you know what it's probably everything she talks about in her YouTube videos and podcasts just on a grander scale her podcast topics include uh, law of attraction spirituality your power within limiting beliefs, healing, and manifesting. And she also, she has a lot of, it's like kind of half and half. Like there's a lot of solo episodes where she's just talking to you like she does on her YouTube, where it's just her. And then she interviews uh, people that are like similar to her as far as like, you know, spirituality, um, law of attraction uh, type like similar to her male and female so I do like her I just like all of her podcast episodes they're really informing and um I don't know she does a good job but her message on you know her YouTube and her podcast is that your true beauty and your true self always lie with it within and again um people who do YouTube and podcasts I like how it's kind of not separate like you're like you're gonna get different topics and videos and podcasts that differ from her YouTube and podcasts, uh, which is nice because again, there are probably some out there that just talk the same topics on YouTube and podcasts, but she changes it up. I don't like uh, yeah, they're similar, you know, topics on the podcast and and her YouTube, but she doesn't just transfer everything from one to another if that makes sense so again isabel palacios and her podcast is called taking back your power so another spiritual type podcast that i listen to is called chakra girl radio by Emily lyons she is a entrepreneur and chakra expert um, she has online courses and um, a business school to help you Okay, I'm just going to read this because it's a lot. She's an entrepreneur, chakra expert, and a course creator. And her courses help you align and tap into your inner goddess. And she also has a chakra business school. Uses crystals and chakras in business to help unleash any blocks in business and to thrive. And I actually did her one of her monthly course membership things um that's um pretty popular um which i like because you're not like set on paying like you know a large amount of money um for like a school you can kind of pay as you go and um you know i was able to keep 
um, her teachings and the chakra teachings are really real um, you know a lot of our different chakras are blocked and that can you know inhibit from you know you know things in life with our own personal things and in business and that's that's her um, she learned this um, you know a few years ago learning about the chakras and then her her mission and her business is to help you know unblock those chakras and that can help in your you know your business if you want to be an entrepreneur and so um, her podcasts are pretty much um, and her podcasts are pretty much mostly interviews she has a handful of episodes that episodes where she where she's solo but like 95% of her podcast is interviewing fellow entrepreneurs spiritual gurus um, business owners and are in this business similar to herself which is fine um, you don't have to you know you don't have to be an entrepreneur or business owner to listen because you know these of these other ladies that I'm mentioning in these podcasts you don't have to want to be an entrepreneur or um, have your own business to like and enjoy these podcasts because they share you know a lot of knowledge that's just good for you know your everyday life and um, Amber interviews you know a lot of spiritual people you know male and female it's not just um, female driven um a lot of the males are you know again in the same type of like you know genre when it comes to like spirituality and law of attraction and with amber with their chakra teachings you know it's not just for people who want to have their own business topics in her podcast include interviews with similar people in their field entrepreneurs spiritual healers healers male and female and I enjoy listening to Amber because she's like kind of like oh my god like not like ditzy but she's like she's like a girly girl she's not like she's into the like woo woo but she's not like woo woo like she's like <laughs> she's like anyone that like you know she loves designer and you know she's girly and you know she doesn't fall into like the stereo spiritual healer that's like organic and minimalistic like she's not like I enjoy listening to her because we're like we're like the same age and we like the same things like I love you know luxury designer and I like to like look cute and she cusses and you know because there's this like stereotype of you know people in this like you know spiritual realm and crystals and chakras that you been to this stereotype of like not liking any of those things and um so it's nice to like you know find and listen to people that are like like that and you know similar to myself and similar to that you know aesthetic because um again not all like people that are into like spirituality and crystals um fall into that category of not wearing makeup like vegan and just minimalistic and you know don't doesn't like to doesn't like luxury and want to make money and all of that so she so that's what you know pulls me to her is you know her as a person and um her aesthetic of you know there's nothing wrong with you know wanting to make money and being successful and loving luxury and because you can be like her and you know look like this and be spiritual so again chakra girl radio by amber lee lines so the last young lady that i am going to mention she is a youtuber and her podcast is called britney the host her name is britney daniel and her youtube handle is britney Han britney daniel and I found her from YouTube. Um, she's been doing YouTube for a few years now. And again, like myself, you know, millennial, early 30s. So I initially found her from YouTube. Not only does she do YouTube, she um, is an entrepreneur 
as well and going to read my notes because I can't get my thoughts together. So Brittany, the host, the podcast, she is a digital creator, helps millennials with relationship finance, living best life and confidence coach and a YouTuber. Again, I found her um, from YouTube initially and then following her on Instagram, found out she had a podcast. I was like, oh, okay. Listen to her while, you know, driving as well. And I like that podcasts are a little bit longer than, um, you know, typical YouTube videos because, you know, YouTube videos can't be too long because you'll, you know, you'll lose engagement. So that's why I, I enjoy like um, her to have a podcast because it's like an extension again with Isabel with taking back your power. Um, I mentioned before because she again started off with YouTube and then moved on to podcasts and it's again an extension of that and they have they typically the podcasts typically are longer because they're either interviewing someone or just able you know because they're just talking you know they're talking to you and with um Brittany Daniel or Brittany the host on on the podcast um her podcast episodes are are a little bit longer than her YouTube videos and I like the whole visuals of YouTube but podcasts are nice because you can just you know just sit down and just talk whatever flows to you don't have to worry so much about editing and all that kind of just flows and that's um and then Brittany's also mentioned that like a lot of times when she does her podcast you know ideas come to her and then she just talks it really isn't much editing and um she mentions that in her in her podcast and again um with her you know the similarities between me and her is our age she's from the bay she's from northern california like myself i still live here she doesn't um she lives in atlanta now and she has a day job day job just like me so kudos to her with you know this whole other life um with you know being a digital creator with you know youtube and podcasts and her other businesses because um i'm trying myself um but the only difference is that i have a child and she doesn't and which is totally fine just um you know if I didn't have a kid I would be on the same grind as her because I have all the time <laughs> to do this and um but enough about me um you guys already know um but yeah so that's why I was drawn to her and her uh topics on her podcast include tapping into yourself rewriting your story standards in dating and investing so again, similar to myself with my YouTube topics, I pretty much talk about anything that I like. I have videos from, you know, my first YouTube video. So again, we're kind of similar as far as, you know, our niches are kind of wide. We talk about various things because my early YouTube videos were my love for luxury with Louis Vuitton and crystals. And then I just started doing videos on a bunch of different things from investing finding your niche how i started youtube my background as being mixed and different things and with Brittany, um aside from the other ladies i mentioned her niche is kind of more broad than the other ones because her her thing is you know helping millennials live their best life and so that's why her topics vary from you know relationship advice investing how to you know come up She's all about getting the bag, all about making money and being successful and her tips. And I'm here for it. I, I enjoy listening to her um, and, you know, watching her YouTube videos. And again, um, you know, she has a day, do day job like myself. So that's kind of inspiring that she's still able to have a large following um, on in YouTube, Instagram, and, and in this podcast. Um, so again, her name is Brittany Daniel, Brittany the host on, um, on her podcast. So that was my top five picks for my favorite podcast that I listen to on the daily. Again, I listen to more. Uh, one honorary mention I will say is I listened to Dave Ramsey as well recently. 
Um, I'm all about getting into, you know, investing and just being, you know, financially literate. And um, he has YouTube and podcasts. And the podcasts, again, are longer. They're an extension of his YouTube. I feel like his YouTube channel just takes bits and clips of, um, you know, the podcasts and the people that call in. So I like the, the, um, the podcast a little bit better because there's no ads <laughs> that interrupt and also, um, you know, the episodes are longer, so it's easier for me to listen to while I'm driving. And, um, I like hearing people's stories when they call in and him giving them advice. And a lot of it's not just, you know, money or financial advice. It's, it's, you know, life, you know, a lot of these people have personal issues and he kind of, you know, if he has time, he goes deep into that and, um, he really helps people. Um, he's been around for years and, um, that's another podcast I like, um, listening to. So the video is titled five, my top five podcasts, but there's really six because I've been listening to him lately. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed those ladies and gentlemen that I mentioned and yeah, consider listening to them and, you know, giving them a follow and a listen because, um, they've helped me a lot, um, over the past few years, um, with, you know, the things that they, they talk about and they're, they're a good listen, whether you're, you know, driving on a commute and, or you're just at home chilling and just want to turn on a podcast and, you know, get some valuable insight and information or knowledge are great and um i really enjoy them and i actually enjoy them more than listening to music sometimes so again thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye